video is the third video for my birthday countdown series. I'm really hoping you guys are liking these series. It took a while for me to plan everything and the past two videos I really loved filming and I loved editing so I hope that you guys liked them. I really worked my ass off. So I decided to film this look for you guys. A lot of you guys have been asking for more makeup tutorials and I'm really really trying to get these more out for you guys. I decided to go with this really pretty orange eyeshadow look. A few videos ago I did let you guys know that I loved orange eyeshadow. So I decided to just just show you guys. <laughs> yeah, I hope that in the honor of spring you guys enjoyed this spring look. Let's get started. So I already prepped my face. I'm just keeping my hair out of my face. I wanted to mention that I've been using this Tarte Maricoja oil because of Luster Lux, Katie. She recommended it if you have really dry skin on your under eyes, which I do. So yeah, I've been using that. Now I'm going to go on to this It's Cosmetic Bye Bye Under Eye. It's going to be used as a base. And the reason why is because I like the way it gets rid of any redness. So now since it's really tacky, I'm just going to set that with this matte nude shadow from the Carly Bible palette. I think it's perfect. It just creates a really nice base to start with. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be using a contour palette for my crease. I'm using this bronze color. I'm all about using a bronzer as a crease color just because it looks a lot more natural. And I'm going to be adding this onto my crease with the Lexi 229 brush. So now for the orange eyeshadow, my favorite is from Maybelline. It's a really pretty shimmery shadow. I love it. I'm going to be adding it with this crown oval concealer brush and I'm gonna be adding some max fix plus because one it's shimmery you really want it to intensify also you don't want a lot of fallout so yeah I'm just gonna be adding it to my lids and then with a clean brush I'm just gonna be kind of like blending out the edges because I don't want it to be too harsh now we're gonna go with a crown blending crease brush and I'm just gonna go back to that orange brown without the fix plus and I'm just gonna create a really nice seamless look so now for the face, you guys know that my bags are super bad. Like you guys saw how bad it is. I love using the erase paste because it gets rid of the like the bruised coloration. I need my sleep. Anyway, I'm gonna be blending two foundations. I'm gonna blend the Ultra HD and the Juicy Beauty CC Cream. The reason I'm adding the CC Cream is because I do wanna look a little more dewy. And usually CC creams tend to do that for you guys. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Bye Bye Under Eye because it's my favorite and the Alley Girl Concealer. The thing is, I'm mixing these two because one of them is too light, one of them is too orange. So when I mix them, I get the perfect color and I'm just adding it to areas where I want to highlight. And again, with my Damp Beauty Blender, I'm going to distribute the product. So since that concealer is really tacky, I'm going to be setting it with whatever I have left from this Brumel Stay Matte Powder with my Crown C490 Dual Fiber Brush. So going back to that Contours Palette, I'm going to go with that bronze. I'm just going to be bronzing up my face because I do need some color. So now we're going to take an angled brush for our eyes and I'm going to be mixing those two, that dark brown and that bronze color. And I'm going to be adding kind of like a little smokiness underneath my lash line. And I'm also going to go in with a finer brush and add that orange shadow closer to my lash line. And lastly, I'm just going to go in with that crease brush and I'm just really going to blend that out. Now for liner, I'm going to go in with this NYX liner. It's a gel liner and I'm adding it to my top waterline. Which, And then for my lower waterline, I'm just going to go halfway. For mascara, I'm using the new X-rated mascara by Smashbox to my top and lower lashes. And guys, I'm finally using an Anastasia product for my brows. This one's a brow definer in the color Ebony. It's a little tricky to use, but I really like the results it gives me. So 
So then I'm going to go back to the Carly Bible palette and I'm going to use that matte nude color as a highlight for my brow bone. And then I'm also going to go with this shade, which is actually a highlight for my inner tear ducts. So now we're going to add some color and we're going to be using this blush, Glowing Goddess by Be A Bombshell. It's so now we're going to work on our dewy skin. I think it looks so amazing any time of the year, but for spring, it's a must. I'm using the What's Up Cream Highlighter by Benefit Cosmetics and I'm just adding it to the high points of my face where I really want that highlight to pop. And I'm going to be blending it with my finger. Now I'm going to go back to the Carly Bible palette and I'm using that same highlight that I used in the inner tear ducts. And I'm just going to be adding this over the cream highlight and it's really going to intensify. So now we're going to be using this matte lip cream by Milani. It's in the color 10 Adorable and it's just a really pretty nude. I felt like the eyes were already speaking for themselves. So, And that's the entire look. Okay guys, so that was it. Please let me know if you guys like this video by giving it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and become part of the family. The family. Also, come back next Sunday for the last video of the birthday countdown series. I can't believe it's going to be the last video. Show some love because that video is actually going to go live on my birthday. I'm going to turn 20. Wow. I still look like I'm 12, so. Anyway, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Stubbing in your bones, you tell your mother